The second day of the Tattersall's July sale bookended a brilliant opening day of racing on the July course and with drafts from both Shadwell and Judmont it was no surprise to see a strong presence from the international visitors yet again all eager to tap into those sought after bloodlines. Lot 552, Jewel House, consigned by Prince Khaled Abdullah's operation, topped the second session when selling to Qatari owner Abdullah Atif Hussein Al Imad and his trainer Ibrahim Al Malki for 215,000 guineas. Al Malki, who has trained 63 winners in Qatar this season, had to see off stiff competition from leading Qatari trainer Jasim Ghassali, who was also keen to secure this well bred Dubawi cult from the family of Frankel, Noble Mission, and Powers Court. We are uh, happy to buy him, and he's, he's a complete horse, actually. He might be something in the future, we didn't know yet. First, his confirmation is very good, actually. He's a nice, complete horse, and he's by Dubawi, which is, they are, uh, they're going very well in our track there. I think he will aim him to, to the Derby, Qatar Derby, which is 2,000 meter, and uh, Maybe next year we'll take him to the bigger races, bigger races than, than that. He tick all the boxes for us, so I think he will be a good horse there in Qatar. Despite missing out on the top lot, Jasim Ghassali with agent Will Douglas made their presence felt later in the day when going to 140,000 guineas for lot 601, Vona, a dark angel filly and listed winner for her trainer Richard Fahi. Purchasers from the Middle East were busy throughout the second session, with lot 535 laid back Romeo also destined to head east to Bahrain when signed for by Jake Warren for 115,000 guineas. The son of Kodiak has won five races for his trainer Clive Cox, having initially been purchased by the trainer for 32,000 euros at the Tattersall's Island September yearling sale. He's an amazingly consistent performer. Um, he is a five-year-old, but if you look at his form, He's been increasing through the handicaps. He's been relatively lightly raced for a five-year-old. He might have only run 15 or 16 times, uh, but his form has consistently been on the up. The end goal with this horse, uh, who I bought for Sheikh Issa bin Salman Al Khalifa, who is the son of the Crown Prince of Bahrain, is to go out there and be very competitive in major races. An exciting horse to have bought. He's beautifully conformed, lovely, lovely shaped horse, great depth on him, fantastic movement. He loves fast ground, which is key for out there. And uh, actually there's a bonus, he's uh, entered up for the Goodwood Mile uh, Handicap Class 2 and uh, we may even have a swing at that, so it could be an exciting little added bonus. The Castle Bridge consignment continued what has been a busy sale for the operation, with 35 sold so far, including several on behalf of Hugo Palmer's Kremlin Cottage Stable. The 105 rated Bader, a four-time winner last summer, topped the draft when selling to Richard Knight for 110,000 guineas. Via Serendipity from the same draft also proved popular, making 100,000 guineas later in the day. Fifth in the spring's Greenham Stakes behind St James's Palace Stakes winner Barney Roy, the Invincible Spirit Gelding will be heading across town from Kremlin Cottage to Stuart Williams' Diamed Stables, having been signed for by Norris Huntingdon Bloodstock on behalf of Happy Valley Breeding and Racing, a long-term owner with Williams. I bought him for Stuart Williams and for a, a, uh, a guy who runs a syndicate. They're called the Happy Valley Racing Syndicate, So, but they race their horses in England. They have horses with Stuart in the past, so I like to help Stuart buy a nice horse and we, we both loved him and hoped we might be able to buy him. He looks fresh, he trots up nicely, he's sound, um, he's got form, he ran well in the Britannia and uh, yeah, he's a lovely horse.